Hey guys, welcome back to Genius Learning. Okay, so we're gonna continue on projectile motion, but in this example, I wanna show you the vector equation going down instead of up. So projectile motion, we always think of movement going up. Um, I just wanna show one quick example here. We can do the same thing going down and practice for when we can identify uh, lengths that are gonna be useful to us. So this plane is flying with a velocity of 100 miles per hour, like that, and it drops off a package, okay? And the package is gonna be falling, falling, and we wanna know where the X final of that package is gonna be. And so, where along here, this is gonna be our X final position and our X initial position, we can say was dropped off at the origin. So the plane flies at a velocity of 100 miles an hour and drops it off exactly at zero and it flies to some final position in X. All right, so let's use our vector equation Um, displacement is going to equal V initial times time vector plus one half A T squared vector. All right. And we know how to draw this triangle, right? The displacement goes to the final position that we're interested in. So the final position we're interested in is where the package ended up at its final position. So we're going to draw a vector right to it. And that is D for displacement, we're gonna have the velocity initial t always be in the same direction as the initial velocity. So that's the initial velocity of the plane, right? Um, which is v equals 100 meters per second. And so drawing this vector now, we're gonna draw it all the way till we get to the top of our position final okay so we got the initial t and now our last vector in the back we got always going downward gravity so one half g t squared it's a acceleration in the y so with this we have a right triangle right here okay so we know that we're good to go if we want to use it with trig identities. Um, let's see what what we're interested in. So first of all, it was dropped at a height of 300 meters. Okay, so that means that if this is where the plane is at and 300 meters is the length to where the package is, then 300 meters, okay, which is all the way to where the package is at is also equal to one half gt squared because the vector represents where the plane was at initially all the way down to the actual package. So they both equal each other. And so now let's find out what we can solve from this. We can solve for t. So if we solve for t, right, we put the two on the other side, divide by g and we square root. So we're gonna have square root of two, 300 over G, All right? So it was one half, I multiplied to the top and here the G I divided it, so it's underneath and then T was squared, so I square rooted it. And now this is the time final for the package to arrive at this position. Okay, so what angle did it fall at? Okay, that's another question we could ask. And let's see how we can find that. So now that we have time final, um, putting this in the calculator, we're gonna get T is equal to 7.82 seconds. So now that we have time final, we also have 
velocity times time, which is this vector up here. So velocity initial is 100, and the time is 7.82 seconds. So this vector up here is 100 times 7.82. Okay, so that's equal to, let me see, 782, all right? This is meters. Okay, so let's see what we got, all right? We have the length of this and the value at 782. So we have this vector that now has a value of 782 meters right because velocity times time is units of meters in fact this entire triangle okay so the triangle that we've been drawing which is displacement we got velocity times time and we have one half g t squared okay all of these vectors are measured in meters okay so let me show you this displacement is in meters okay and let's look at v naught times time so we got velocity is meters per second and time is seconds so the s is canceled out and we get m. So the same thing as the displacement vector. And we have our last vector here, which is one half g t squared. And if we look at the units, we got meters per second squared. That's for gravity. So we got m second squared. And for t, we got second squared. On the top and so that cancels out and you see that these are all displacement vectors this is a displacement vector and this on top is a displacement vector and our last one which is gravity is a displacement vector so they all measure length and so when we see something like this where you have 300 meters above the ground and our vector can be perfectly matched up to it, then we can make it, we can assign it that value because it is a meters, in, it's a, the units are meters and so is what we're given. So it works out fine. Now, when we calculated V initial times time, we got 782 meters for this vector. We have the one that's going down here as 300 and our displacement one which we still haven't found a value for but it's fine and a random angle that we don't know okay so we have values here and all we need to do is take the tangent of this triangle right we got a right triangle here Let's take the tangent of this. So we're gonna have tangent theta of opposite over adjacent. If we do the inverse tangent of 300 divided by 782, we're gonna get angle of 20.9 degrees right here. 20.9 degrees, which is the same as here. 20.9 degrees. Okay, now we don't need the question mark. So that's the angle that it fell at. And if we just take a look at the information we already got, then we know this length right here, x final. So really I should just write x um, x final is on this side, x initial is on this side, so the displacement in x, right, final minus initial. And this side is a measurement in meters, 
and so is this vector up here, which we found to be 782. So we can just make this. This side here equal to this side, and we found our displacement or how far it went in the x direction. So the plane came in at 100 miles an hour and right around there dropped the package off. Kept flying and so the package fell at 20 degrees or 20.9 degrees and it had an initial velocity of 100 miles per hour and we found where exactly it stopped at which is 782 meters. It was dropped from 300 meters above the ground. Okay, so that's all the information that we needed to get from this. I just wanted to show you how we can use the triangles in any direction, really. So you gotta, you know, try to be creative and try to see the problem, draw it out, so that way you can draw your triangles right and get it done quick and clean. All right? Yeah.